This just came out earlier today from Canva to celebrate its 10th anniversary. And it's pretty amazing. Watch this video. I'm going to show you some of my favorite features. To note, you can access a lot of these features free of charge, as you can see. And whenever you see a feature with the Pro icon, that's when you need to upgrade to Pro. Here at Face World, we've been using the Pro version for the past literally eight years. We design our podcast cover art and we use it for our client work as well as YouTube thumbnails literally every single day. So to us, spending $120 a year for an entire team is absolutely worth it. With that said, let's get started with some of the juiciest features. First is called Magic Write. As you can see here, it doesn't just, you know, request a prompt and will write copy for you, but it actually will summarize it based on your brand voice. So if you click on Magic Write, first of all, it's going to show you exactly how to use it. By the way, with all the AI features coming out of Canva, you don't have to guess that you're not facing a blank page. Literally, there are step-by-step -step tutorials including that if you don't know what a brand kit is or how to create your brand voice, it's on the left-hand side here under brand. I've already inputted uh, our brand voice. If you have not, you're going to see a little dialog box. It's really simple. You can give it a three word, you know, brand voice, professional, clear, direct, whatever it may be. For us, I wanted to build something that's a little bit more detailed as the way that I've been using ChatGPT. So our brand voice is, uh, you know, talking about what we write and how we want to approach our audience. You can open up a blank canvas here, whether it's a presentation or a document or an ebook. Then what you can do is you can write a little blurb. So go ahead and input a little text prompt here. Here it is, as you can see, and looking at it, the quality is really is quite good. You can click on magic, write again. You can say continue writing and it's going to expand beyond what's been written. Uh, let's see what else you can summarize and you can make it more fun. You can fix spelling. So that's magic, write. I really like it. It's not just writing, but using your brand voice. Needless to say, within Canva and Canva Pro, you can apply your own brand kit, whether it's color or element, just making everything working from within the platform. I also love the compounding effects of being able to leverage all the features. So the next thing I want to show you uh, that is getting really popular is magic grab. So once again, you can uh, move the elements. This is not just about removing the background. You're not removing the background. It's simply taking the element that like this person or a balloon out of the image. You can resize it based on the existing background. So let me go ahead and show you how that works. So as always, there's an example. You can simply click on add a new page. You can, you know, change the file into different sizes if you want to. All right. So let's say I want to be able to make myself a little bit smaller in that background. And what I'm going to do is click on edit photo. As you can see, all the Magic Studio features are right there. We're going to click on Magic Grab. Immediately, it separates me from the background without getting rid of the background. If I don't make myself a little bit smaller, there we go. That's it. So I can do more with the background. You know, I can expand the background if I want to. So instead of doing that, here's another feature that can add to this feature, which is going to photos again. And now I can do magic expand. So what it's doing is an expand to the whole page. So if this background or this image doesn't really fill the rest, it can actually imagine in using AI to expand and extend the image. Simply, you can choose whole page, but there are also other orientations. You can do one to one ratio, nine by 16, 16 by nine. So if you're working in social media, that's really handy. As you can see here, it kind of reimagine, it kind of faded out the, uh, the table a little bit. So depending on the image, it may or may not work to its perfection. From here, um, what I can do is I clicked and I found where I was, but you can see that obviously some of the images are just not ideal, but it could work for some other scenarios more easily. Let's take a look at this little puppy uh, on the background here. So once again, I'm going to go into photo and let me go ahead and expand that to one on one and magic expand. Okay. That took about 30 seconds or so. And you can see that you have additional variations on the left hand side. You can generate new results. Um, if you remember, it was kind of a puppy on grass, pretty clear, no blurred background. But as Canva AI is in imagining its edges, now it looks like it's taken using like a mirrorless camera with some blurred background. And is it usable? 
Yeah, I think so. If I want to expand the background a little bit more, like for instance, I don't really like the artifacts here. I can just simply resize the image to the part that I do like. Here's the magic morph feature and as well as animation. I'm going to leave some of this to you guys. Uh, people seem to really like this part that you can turn something flat into something glossy uh, 3D if you want to. And let's check out magic morph. So what you need to do as step by step is you need to select the star, first of all. Uh, or add an example. You can add, you know, a little Paul here if you want to. If you don't like that description, there are many different examples you can try. Like I'm going to see how wood works. So then you go magic morph and it's going to generate and come back to you in just a second. All right. I am back. As you can see, you now have these wooden stars that has been generated and to match the shape and tilt it. Pretty cool, isn't it? All right, let's go back. What else would you like to learn? Please let me know in the comments below. The final thing I'll show you is actually free called Magic Design for Videos. You can add a combination of like video clips and images or both and give it a prompt. It's going to automatically create a little short video for you. So this can be really useful if you go to an event and, you know, capture a bunch of images and but don't know what to do with them. As you can see, as soon as you come in, you're presented with a gallery, everything you've already uploaded previously. So um, so let me go ahead and, and give it a shot. So these are some of my mom's paintings, uh, but at least three files to get started. And now you can see that uh, showcasing. So random. <laughs> so here. It's going to generate the video. As you can see, it goes through pretty fast and it applies music as well. So make sure that you can actually hear the music. I'll, I'll be sure to download um, the videos. If I don't want it to block certain images, I can also make it smaller, obviously, and move it around uh, per slide. In some cases, you might have to extend the music. Maybe you need to select another piece of music. Speaking of which, um, even though this is not really part of the AI feature, you can see on the left hand side that uh, Canva does come with a lot of these tracks you can use right away. Some of them are from the pro account. Let's go ahead and just you know add another piece and you can transition if needed. You get the idea. There's a lot of editing features. You can shorten the music. You can add transitions between these images and video clips. Magic switch, as you can see right here, is another great feature. I was really skeptical. So last night I put together the slide. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, I'm pretty sure you're going to like the next one as well. This is Faye. I'm so grateful that you're here. We've met and I'm here to provide very quick and easy tutorials for you to adapt and use AI tools to assist the work that you're doing. All right. Thank you for your support. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.